to the first vlog of 2020. I feel like I owe you all an apology because I've been really bad at uploading this month. I usually try to aim for one video per week or more if I have the time, but this month has been completely crazy and it didn't start very well. We started um, the new year with a very bad cold virus and that took ages to go so I wasn't feeling well for quite a while and then on top of that I've had all of the paperwork for my tax return which because I've been busier recently was even worse this year or better depending on how you look at it. I've also had a lot of work and a lot of stuff to do behind the scenes because I'm preparing for something that I can't tell you about yet. I know it's really annoying when people say things like that, but there's somebody else involved in this and we need to launch it properly. So that should be happening at the end of February, I think. So I'll be able to tell you all about that then. I've also been dealing with quite a few migraines this month. There's something that I tend to get quite a lot, um, sometimes more than others. And this month, especially later in the month, has been particularly bad. So all of this has meant that I haven't really had the time or the opportunity to film very much, but I have been filming here and there over the past couple of weeks. So I've put it all together in this vlog and you can see what we've been getting up to. painting I'm actually using a different type of paint to the one I used for the book cover. The book cover paints are the ones you can see on the desk here so I'll tell you what I'm using for the raindrops. It was a Winsor & Newton gouache in indigo and a De La Rowney watercolour in Payne's grey and just with those two colours I found that I can create so many different shades of this beautiful blue I basically add more or less water to the paint to get these varying shades so if I want a raindrop that looks very watery and pale and translucent I just add more water to the pigment and for the really deep midnight blue ones it's the opposite. I decided to film some of this in real time for a change because I usually speed up all of my painting footage. This gives you more of an idea of how long it takes me to paint each raindrop. going to be sharing the finished painting with you in the next vlog because I've also been working on some other things so I'm going to do a major painting sharing session in that one. this package is a stone I've painted and a little postcard, one of my postcards um, with a message on it. I've wrapped it up in this bag in case it gets wet because it's been very rainy but we're going to go and hide it somewhere in the Rygate area and I'm going to put a little story out on my Instagram page and hopefully someone will find it. Shall we put it, put it in this bush <laughs> or around by this tree? Maybe the tree. I'm thinking 
If I put it around the bottom, a dog might wee on it. <laughs> but how do I get up there? You see that little nook up there is quite high. And I don't know how many people, I mean, they could get a stick and knock it down. Mm, it might damage it. It's well, it's well wrapped. <laughs> Dominic's gone off to grab a large piece of flint so we can weight this down a little bit so it won't go, I was going to say blowing off. <laughs> Have you got enough stuff to weigh it down with? Oops. I think yes. we can do without that one. <laughs> overlooking the golf club we're on the hill and we're going to place it here on the trig point and we're going to weigh it down so it doesn't blow away <laughs> bright and sunny so we took a trip out to Sussex because Dominic wanted to go to an auction there was something there that he had his eye on unfortunately it went for more than we were prepared to pay so we didn't end up getting anything from the auction but I did get some interesting things from an antique shop which I want to show you because they're actually for my studio and office so I'll be doing that in the next vlog Lot uh, 62 then is the, they're rather impressive aren't they, the, the six Renwick uh, uh, champagne flutes, my word. Here we are, what do we say over there, is that bit 42, 44, 46, 48, uh, 48 with me now and 50. And five, sixty, sixty standing, and five, three forty, three twenty standing, and three twenty standing. Is that to finish? Three twenty standing, and you After the auction and a trip to the antique shop, we decided to go even deeper into the Sussex countryside. We went to visit Watts Gallery, which is one of our favourite places for a lovely cultural and just really relaxing day out. We looked around the exhibitions and the shop there. It's a little bit difficult to film, so I ended up only filming in the cafe. But as you can see, we had a delicious lunch and a slice of chocolate heaven cake. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little trip around the Surrey and Sussex countryside. The next vlog will be more studio based, but I'll be showing you some of the lovely things I bought in the antique shop and also at Watts Gallery. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you then.